Hey guys, welcome to a new video of German for India. Um, in the coming series of videos, we are going to look at German office culture and the rules that have to be followed there. The office culture in Germany is very different from the Indian office culture. Therefore, it really makes sense to watch the whole series of videos. And in the first video, we are specifically going to look at the German meeting culture. So what do you have to specially consider? What do you have to keep in mind when you're attending a meeting, when you're inviting for a meeting, how to deal with the whole topic? So let's straight come to the first rule. The first rule is always be on time for meetings. Um, basically, the German attitude to the whole thing is other people are coming to the meeting and they are giving their time there. So let's say somebody has to wait five minutes until everybody's present. Um, that person would get really annoyed because um, to a German it feels like a disrespect um, because he is kept waiting in that situation. Rule number two. Let's say you get an invitation for a meeting in Outlook. Now it's important to not just let it sit there, but to accept the meeting, decline the meeting or um, propose, for example, a new time with an explanation. Like, or also if you decline, why are you declining? Um, the thing is, it's the, the German always wants to plan the meeting out because he invites for a certain purpose and he, for example, he needs you to be there. So otherwise he wouldn't have invited you, hopefully. So then if nobody answers, for example, he can't, he doesn't know what's, what's going on. Should I change the time or do people think it's unimportant or he might even feel disrespected because you don't find it necessary to even answer. So it's very important to answer uh, those invitations and also do not send uh, cancellations in the last minute before the meeting, for example because then there's no time to reschedule or anything. Of course, sometimes it's required to send a last minute cancellation or let's say you have first accepted the meeting and later then you declined. But then it's important to also call them up or write them a short message why that specifically had to happen because of circumstance, this or that. So that's really important. So then the third rule for German meetings is you have to get to the topic in the meeting. Um, especially if you have invited for the meeting, you have to a little bit feel the atmosphere. Is it, um, is it okay to have a little bit of small talk in the beginning, to be, be a little bit friendly and uh, spend some time on that? Or is it um, that everybody really just wants to get to the point and wants to solve the topic that's being dis discussed and then um, again go to their work? Um, usually in Germany, there's much less uh, small talk or personal talk in the beginning of a meeting than in India. Usually you get straight to the point, solve the problem and get out. And um, that also brings me to rule number four. Always try to solve the topic that is being discussed in the meeting. It's, um, that's the, the expectations that the Germans would have when they are attending a meeting, that there are actionable items that are coming out of the meeting. Always a solution should be there, not just to discuss a problem, um, but really to go out with to-dos and, and to implement them also, to solve the topic. Then number five of the German meeting rules is, um, it's very important that you focus on what's being discussed. Um, you, it's important to not be on your phone, for example, reading emails, doing something else. Or also, also important not to bring your laptop and working on something else while, something, while the other people are discussing. It's important to be involved and to be attentive. And also that people see that you're attentive and following the, the discussion. Again, the Germans might feel that this is kind of disrespectful, that um, ignoring what's going on in the room and, and doing something else on the phone or on the laptop. Our next meeting rule is always come prepared for a meeting. That's of course especially important if you have invited for the meeting. Um, 
it's actually a very good practice when you are sending an invitation for a meeting that already there you explain what the meeting is about put a short agenda you know for a few bullet points for example at first you want every you able to explain the problem or the topic so that everybody understands what's going on then you will for example tell what all has been done already then you want to have a group discussion or brainstorming so you know and and then also write what you expect to come out of the meeting for example and that gives a that helps you prepare for the meeting because you will also structure your thoughts and lay out a plan for this meeting and it helps everybody else also to prepare for the meeting they come they will know what to expect they maybe have had the chance then already to read something before the meeting to come prepared maybe with a solution already from their point of view so that makes it much more valuable our next meeting rule in germany is always end the meeting on time it may be that other people don't have directly a meeting after your meeting so they may be able to stay longer but the expectation is usually that you wrap up the whole topic when the meeting time is over um that's something that i've experienced here in india is very different it basically if an invitation is there then it can just also get extended uh, and nobody's really has any problem with it but in germany really people expect you especially if you're the organizer of the meeting that you manage the time of the meeting in a way that the topic is solved or actionable items have come out when the meeting time is over that's also a very important point again it's for germans it's like um, important that their time is respected you know that it, it's not just expected that they will spend more time than they have planned for this item because they may have other plans for what they want to work afterwards but it's important to finalize to finish it on time and then after the meeting it's a very good practice and that's often very often done in germany that you if you, especially if you invite for the meeting that you um uh write minutes of meeting you at least a few bullet points of the main things that have been discussed and agreed in the meeting and you just distribute it to everybody with a short disclaimer that if anybody has uh, any additional remarks or you have forgotten something that you'll be very happy to accommodate those points also in the meeting minutes Okay guys that was today's video about German work culture especially the meeting culture there are more videos upcoming as i already said about more aspects of german work culture and office culture if you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell button and leave me a like and all your dreams will come true <laughs>